last month was kind of tough. There was some changes at the post office and uh, it was potentially devastating. But uh, one of you out there, I forgot who, what your name was, but thank you very much. Somebody sent me an email and was asking me why is shipping more than the product itself? And I was like, what? That, you know, that doesn't sound right. And I checked into it. As a lot of you know, postage went up last month. I didn't, wasn't aware of it. I wasn't keeping up with stuff. I was just busy making downspouts and end caps and, and videos for YouTube. And, and um, what had happened was that they added a surcharge. Didn't have anything to do with the weight. You know, these are all light. Usually I wouldn't even worry about, you know, any, anything going up the rate because it's so light. But they added a surcharge for the length and our old downspouts in that we were shipping in a 32 inch box to fit everything in it and anything over 30 inches had a $15 surcharge tacked on on top of what the shipping charges were so shipping from here to California was like $20 $25 and they added an extra $15 on top of that now I stay busy and if you guys have ordered from me I'm usually about two weeks out on orders. So if you order, it's anywhere between one and two weeks that I get it done and get it shipped out. So when the prices went up, when I got that email, I wasn't looking. I, when I print up the orders, I look and see what I have ordered. I go and pack that stuff, print the shipping labels, slap them on, take it to the post office. And I wasn't checking the prices because Etsy was doing you know, a pretty good job you know, as far as uh, estimating how much it would cost. And when she had said that, I went back and checked. And since I'm two weeks behind, all those orders, the customers have paid at the old price. But when I go to buy the shipping label, I have to pay the new surcharge that was on top of it. So besides the orders just like just dropping off because nobody wants to pay $35 in shipping for a $29 product, um, I was going to have to eat that extra surcharge on each order and uh so we i went through like two weeks it's pretty tough but it's helping people grow so you know I, I, I made it through that and as a result we had to cut these down so if uh, that's the reason why i came on here is if you guys order these now if you've seen my old videos or you've been with me a while you notice that we have six holes and now we've got five and that's the reason why we cut them down a little smaller is to get under that um, surcharge. If we go just a couple inches bigger, then we have a $4 surcharge added on to what shipping you already have. And if we go back to the 30, 32 inches or whatever, it's an extra $15. So, uh, you know, we're trying to help people out. And, uh, you know, we could make these like $89 and, you know, we, we could price them at anything, but, but we're not reaching the people that I want to help in that. So um, I had to do something to get it underneath that size limit so that we can still help people. I don't want them paying more in shipping than, than the product costs. It just doesn't make any sense. So if you guys see that old video that I had and I'm talking about these and selling them, uh, it'll have six holes in it. You know, and, and I've got a link, you know, to our shop. So lots of people are going on the shop. But on the Etsy shop itself, it says there's five holes in the description. So if people read the description, there's five holes, the pictures with five holes. And some one of you mentioned that too. You know, I went in and changed the description. I forgot to change the picture. You know, I had plants in it. I didn't know somebody was going to count how many plants were in there. But somebody did, and they, they let me know. So I had to go in there and change the pictures too. So the last month has been like uh, really hectic. So... <laughs> There was besides you know just eating a lot of the postage cost and trying to sh find a different uh, size something that would fit and would still be within you know everyone's budget you know uh, we did that um, on top of that we had uh, another problem is which is a good problem um, our end caps I keep running out of them and um, I sent a shipment into Amazon and by the time it Amazon gets it. It takes a couple weeks for them to get it and them pro to process it and and they only put so many in one warehouse and then they ship it somewhere else and that takes longer. Um, but by the time it gets out there and I make a video and edit it and, and put it up on YouTube, um, 
a lot of those orders are already gone. So when I drop a video, people get on there and start ordering, and like if they watch the video a day or two later, they're like, hey, you're sold out. And, uh, you know, so that's a good thing, right? And, uh, but one time I dropped a video and it was like uh, four hours later or something, you know, somebody was saying, you know, there's none available. So what I want to do, I, like I said, I, I want to help everyone. These are a whole lot easier to ship. So I'm going to stop making these for a while. See, if I had like 40 orders of this, the, my whole workshop would be taken up with 40 boxes, right? I can take 40 orders of these and put it in a box about that big and take this, just carry that one box up to like UPS and it's done with this. If I have 40, I have to carry 40 of these things in two or three at a time into the post office and it's a big mess. So um, these are taking up a little bit of time. What I want to do is to build up a stock on these where I have some on hand here so that when you order it, I can get it out quick. I want to build up the stock on Amazon so that they're available in all the different warehouses and that way when people see a video, see they don't see just this video. When when somebody watches this, YouTube will show them another video or another video and then there's, there's some people that will see a video from a year ago and uh, they'll, they'll order. So I, I want to go ahead and build up the stock so I keep everybody happy and this just really takes up a whole lot of time and it was really a big headache last month. So um, what I'm going to do is I've got, you know, I ordered these boxes that we ship them in from Amazon because they were just the right size to get us under that limit. And I've got a stack of the boxes and I'm going to put, I usually just have it unlimited, you know, in Etsy where you can go and just order. And I just take the next two weeks to, to make the orders and, and send them out. I'm not going to order any more of these boxes from Amazon. So I've got a stack of them there. It looks like 20, 30, 35, um, anywhere between 35 and 50. I think that's where they come in 25 bun bundles of 25. Um, that's going to be it. So I'm not going to order any more of those boxes. I'm going to go on to Etsy and actually put in how many uh, we have left for the inventory. And when we run out, we're going to be sold out. So if you've been sitting on the fence about ordering one of these, I know it's hot, it's getting to be summertime, but this is the time to get these and to put them together, make sure they're not leaking, um, go ahead and plant some stuff in it, grow some stuff indoors, practice with it. That way when fall comes, you'll be ready to go and, and you might even build you more and more of these. Um, the reason why I like these two, the end caps when people buy these, see we had to get this down, right? So that's a good size grow box. And you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but with this set of end caps, you can take that and you could actually make one of these that's up to 10 foot long. You know, it's crazy. We've got one that's eight foot in our backyard. We've got a couple that's six foot. And um, so if you get a couple of these, just make sure, go call your Home Depot or go in, go in and look at Home Depot Lowe's. Make sure they have the three by four downspouts because there's a lot of you around the country have told me that they don't sell these uh, in some of the Home Depots. I thought uh, back years ago if they sold it in any one of their stores you could order it and they would ship it to that store and they're just not doing that anymore. Um, so make sure you can get the 3x4 downspout before you order any of the end caps. Um, but I love it when people order these because like I said I know that people are growing their own food and they might have these in the yard. Some people have sent me pictures of these that they put up on a wall and they put little hangers and they're like 10 foot long and they're growing food in it. And some people put it all on their porch or patio and all kinds of fantastic pictures. It gets me all excited in that. So when you, when you get this, you kind of um, have a lot more options to do with it than if you have this, which there's nothing wrong with this. I have about... 10 to 20 of these at any one time in my backyard just going full of food and I've got you know three four foot you know I'd, mine's all a hodgepodge because when I was making these for y'all if there was a little defect in a downspout I just cut that piece off and make myself one because it, it doesn't matter if I've got you know a defect in it so I've got all kinds of sizes and shapes um, but uh, when people order these I can just picture all of you out there having like eight 
10 foot downspouts just full of food everywhere. So, um, like I said, this was taking up my time, so I'm going to stop selling these. Like I said, there's uh, between 35 and 50 boxes. It, it's less than 50. It's less than two bundles. But that's going to be it. So when you see sold out on the Etsy shop, and if you watch this video uh, a week from now, a couple weeks from now, it, it might be sold out by then. But I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to use up all my boxes here so it's not taking up space in the workshop. And once that's done, I'm just going to focus on making end caps. And we've got a surprise in store for you all. We're working with other people and trying to develop some other products and everything too. And it's, it's pretty exciting. Um, but we're trying to streamline everything. And this way, by doing this and being able to help you know, a lot more people by, by having, you know, we can pack stuff in. We can help a whole lot more people instead of all the, this work we were doing with these um, it's going to mean that there's a whole lot more people growing now uh, if you really want you know one of these after we're sold out or you want a different size just remember that uh, the shipping I have no control over that it's just the post office just went up you know over 30 inches or 32 inches or something and it's just like $15 added on um if you you can't get these in your area and you need it i got my email keep on growing one at gmail.com you know if we're sold out you know we can work something out and you know like i said i hate to tell people no on that but um just for having it like a store open where anyone who's on etsy can find it and buy it and you know i'm just i'm just gonna pull those off for now so um what do you call it last chance y'all go ahead order those and after that we're gonna concentrate on this we're going to have fun. Um, like I said, it was a tough month, but it's also good because it means there was a whole lot of people growing their own food. So that gets me stoked. Uh, any way you all do it, if you do it in something like this, or you do it in a recycled container, or you, know, you do it in a milk jug or whatever you do, just get out there and grow some of your own food. All right. It's Mike Van Doozy. Thank you. We'll catch you next time. Lift and inspire. Keep on growing. Be the change. My shirt's dirty. I was working out in the garden. We'll catch you later.